photo shooting. 27 pilots in just one boat. It happened Sunday morning for F2's family photo shooting. The special occasion, a historic Norwegian boat at the Tonsberg Harbor. Final chance. All pilots who didn't make it into Q2 at Saturday's qualifying had their final chance to qualify for the Grand Prix of Norway at Sunday's qualifying race. When the lights turned off, Mette Bjergnes had an impressive start going right into the lead of the 20-lap race. After a few laps, she built up an almost 10-second lead over Kalavipu on second and Rup Temper on third. To the end of the race, Vipo closed the gap to the lead boat, but at the end it was Bjergnes to cross the finish line first. Really good start and uh, when I was, was off, I was just off and then I was first on the first turn, so it was just smooth right from there. But after the race, everything changed when Mette Bjergnes got a penalty for not keeping her lane after the start. So all of a sudden she was out of the Grand Prix and Owen Jelf, who finished fifth, moved up and gained the final starting spot for the Grand Prix. Race Facts it's the fourth Formula 2 Grand Prix of Norway and Tonsberg, and this year with a modified race course compared to the prior years. The new circuit has a length of 1.86 kilometers, four left and two right turns. The 50 lap race will be rough and overtaking very difficult. Start of the race and 18 boats on their way to the first turn. But not even 20 seconds into the race, the red flag came up after Frode Sundstahl and Rashid al Kamsi were involved in a massive crash. Both al Kamsi and Sundstahl didn't get hurt, but this was by far one of the scariest accidents in F2 this season. What happened? Frode Sundstahl was pushed by Ferdinand Sandbergen, so Sundstahl spun and ended up right in front of Rashid al Kamsi, who had absolutely no chance to avoid this collision. For Sundstahl and world champion al Kamsi, this race was already over after turn one. Stop and go. At the restart, everything went right and all of the remaining 16 boats managed to get through turn one. But this was just the start of a race with several full course yellows. It all started with Owen Jelf, who took out the turn boy in turn two. Yellow was up for the first time. After the buoy was replaced, the race was started again, but it took only a few seconds and yellow was out again when Ferdinand Sandbergen and Stefan Hagen crashed while fighting for third position. Both could continue the race, but Hagen was disqualified for causing this accident and moved out of the Grand Prix. A controversial decision, which left Hagen with zero points and losing his chances on the 2018 champion title. We don't let us uh, get down now, so uh, we, we look up and uh, for the next race we will be back. Back to the race with yet another restart and still 14 boats to fight for positions. Only four laps later, when Daniel Sagenmark and Ferdinand Sandbergen were fighting for fifth spot, Sandbergen caught air and flipped out of the Grand Prix. Sandbergen was okay, but for the fourth and final time, the race was interrupted. Drive of the day. American Brent Dillard, currently sixth in the championship, gained the most places at the Norwegian Grand Prix. Dillard just made it into the race 15th on the grid, replacing disqualified Christian Carlsen. Yeah, that's unfortunate for somebody else, but it worked in our favor, so we're making it in the final now. We don't have to do a repercharge race, even though I would have probably liked the extra laps to get more comfortable with this course. It's a very tough course, it's like an endurance race here. Coming from 15th, Dillard stayed out of trouble the whole race and gained one position after another. After 50 laps, one red flag and three full course yellows, Dillard moved up 11 positions and finished fourth at the end. Oh. Also in the championship, Dillard moved up to fourth, still in touch to a championship podium. 
Alberto did it again. Pole setter Alberto Comparato was unbeatable at the Grand Prix of Norway. From the start, the Italian was leading the race. At none of the three restarts, he really was in danger of losing his first spot. At the end, Alberto Comparato secured his second win of the 2018 season and is now in a comfortable 18-point lead in the championship. With two more races to come, he made a big step towards the championship title. Yeah, this one is the most difficult one. It was many ways. So it was difficult, but in the end I couldn't make it. Race for the podium. With unlucky Hagi not only losing points in the race, but his third spot in the championship, the German dropped down to fifth. And at Garas Ryabko also missing to score in Tonsberg because of engine problems, the Lithuanian dropped from second to third in the overall standings. It was to be as Muntikas who had the race of his life at the Norwegian Grand Prix. Starting fifth, the Norwegian pilot kept everything together at his home Grand Prix. Muntikas moved up to second position when he was challenged by new star pilot Konstantin Ustinov till the end of the race. But Muntikas could defend his second position till the checkered flag. So for the first time in his career, Tobias Muntikas makes it on the podium and also moves up to second in the World Championship. This was perfect. We had a great uh, match race on, uh, on Friday and we had uh, a, bit, uh, a bit of bad luck yesterday. But today we uh, climbed from fifth to second, so I'm really satisfied and I'm also happy for the first place. So yeah, it's for Comparato, it's, yeah, it's a dream. He loves Norway, I love Norway and we are on home ground, so yeah, perfect weekend. Third crossing the line was new star pilot Konstantin Ustinov and also third on the podium. But later, the technical inspection of his engine resulted in a disqualification. So Abu Dhabi pilot Rashid Al Tire moves up to third, making it his best ever result in Formula 2 as well. Wow, 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 wow.